With her, her prongs, so I told her to use the bats of her finger. <laughs> You're gonna break it. <laughs> oh, <and> what? <laughs> okay, no, no. <laughs> Is that on film? Hello. Do they yes. watch the vlog? Can't be helped. Mom does. Oh, I guess that's <laughs> I'll just blur it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be I'm so gonna get funny. In so much. <laughs> Are you okay? Mm. Yes. Okay. Sit still. Okay. Why are you rubbing a jellyfish into my arm? Yeah. I'm checking your blood pressure. <gasps> Look at my flex. Wow. Wow. Don't go out How are you? I'm going to get my Hey, my brow. I need more water with you. Three? See, you're already fighting me. <laughs> Two? <laughs> you know, I really think I'm that really? strong. Really? I'm weak as fuck. It, it, it's it's just, no, it's not gonna go. <laughs> so in a natural, you know what I'm saying? Like if we just go. Wait, I'm gonna play. Don't turn to me. Oh, Maddie, three. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> three. 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 She goes on three. I'm not even three. What? No, no. <laughs> All right, I'll count. I'll count. Three, two. Can I stop. What are you she doing? You can't be up here. Your elbow can't be up Get in the sky. You're the one with the advantage. Oh boy. Three, two, one. <laughs> Shoulder. <laughs> Don't fight. They were good for three days without having to brush them. Well, maybe <laughs> oh my god, it's a face of agony. Damn! You know what it is? Her blood is so thick that it like pumps real hard to her arm. So we're helping them prepare. And this is our contribution. <laughs> Maddie bought a bunch of prepackaged that's croissants. That's the table right there. <laughs> that's, the, that's the whole food table. Right there. Right there. I'm trying to stand tall. And, uh, we've banished ourselves to our own kids' table. Um, yeah. By choice. But um, everybody is eating and having a good time. There's like 30 people here today. Look I how think beautiful. It chose us. Oh no, I lost my broccoli. Isn't that the one you dropped on the table? Yeah, but I'm gonna eat it anyways. Cheers. Here's some memories from this year. A bad idea to put it up there? Huh? It's gonna fall, bro. You think? No, do it. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. That Please is so don't bad. fall. If you jump, See, it's gone. What if I jump? Don't fucking jump. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I just stubbed my toe. Instant karma. You would think. Ow, I don't have mega knees. You, <laughs> you guys wanna hear my knee pop? 
hear it. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. You guys want to hear my knee pop? No noise. We have issues. I feel like people can hear us scream. You don't oh, know you love this song. What? Michelle, my bell. Look at us, we're little idiots. We are eating outside at the table that has no chairs. Well, none of them have chairs, but this is what we're doing. Smile. Ooh, this is butter burger. Cute. It's, so good. it's his birthday. He's 76 today. <laughs> to hear it. Okay, get up, get up. We'll put our paw in. To run with Hey guys. It is May 14th. I have so much footage to share with you guys. So basically, we went to Mile's graduation up in the Sioux. And then also just like some bits and pieces from the week. Going to Costco with my parents. And then we decided to get a TV really randomly. Which, don't know why we did that. But we ended up having to wait and have Livy bring our bigger car so we could put the TV in there. And so while we're waiting, my dad was trying to throw nuts in my mouth in the parking lot. And I kept missing. So, I'll put that in now. Oh, come on. All right. Come on. Here we go. Roll up your sleeves. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> all right, last one because we're ruining all of them. One. Wait, wait. Center yourself. <laughs> Center for the lectin. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> that was the worst one yet. Why'd you throw it so far? <laughs> your body motion was more. <laughs> <laughs> hope you enjoyed the little montage i have a mini haul from nordstrom rack because it's summer i got some shorts i have a favorite favorite pair of black shorts from zella that i wear constantly and they hadn't been selling them for a while um but they just went back up and they had a bunch of new colors and so i got a couple pairs so excited. I got two new fun colors and then I got another pair of the black ones just because I feel like I can never have enough. It's called the Aerodynamic Woven Short in black. Look how cute these are. They have a little line that goes in the back. It's like a little reflective. It has a pocket up here. They fit so well. They just sit right Oh, well, well, not up here. They sit like at your hips, but it's so amazing. I love them so much. I've been through three pairs of shorts. I love them so much. Okay. Second doesn't have the reflective strip, but it's the same shape. They're these fun red ones. I'm so excited to wear these. Same little pocket on the back and everything. These ones are a different cut entirely, but they're also from Zella. So hopefully I like them. These are blue clematis. That's what it's called. Anyways, just um, simple workout shorts, has the Zella logo in the corner. Not really anything to it, but I'll try them all on for you and show you what they look like. Okay guys, I love these shorts. Look how cute they are. They're really high rise. I love that. They're so freaking cute. Look at them. I'm totally gonna wear these lifeguarding because they're like the perfect shade of blue. And I think our shirts are red this year, so I'm gonna kind of look like 4th of July threw up on me, which don't know if I vibe with that, but do it anyway. Also, love these. Are you kidding? They're so fun. This with like a plain black t-shirt, plain gray, plain white. Hell yeah. Look how fun. They're so cute. I'm obsessed. These are so fun. And then obviously this is the exact same, but black. And I have two of these and I'm sure you've seen me wear these a hundred times over. I swear to God, these are the most comfortable athletic shorts I've ever worn in my life. They're like the perfect thickness for shorts. I love them so much. I'm gonna make a matcha. I just ran on the treadmill. Hated it. But here I am, you know? Here I am, still alive, sort of. Still alive. My hair's greasy. <laughs> That's so fun for me. Anyways, I got one of those actual matcha whisks. It's like traditional or whatever. So I'm gonna show you guys how I use it because I think it's kind of fun. Matcha whisk. It came with this like wooden little spoon bitch that I used to scoop the matcha out of the bag. Here is my little actual matcha whisk on its stand. I'm gonna soak this in warm water so that way when I actually use it, it's not going to break as easily. Little tub, soak it. While I wait for that to soak, I prep my matcha. So you need a bowl 
a bowl, and a sifter. Dad just came in to invite me to Costco. So we're going to Costco today, bitches. So excited, love Costco with my whole heart. Maybe half, that's a lot of heart. But look how cute. Sorry, I'm just getting distracted on my matcha journey, but look how pretty. We just updated the, updated, my God. English. <laughs> what did I do? Wow, uh, we replaced the water in the pool. So now it's all blue and pretty. And we have our little backyard set up all getting going. That did not make no sense. Look at Renny. Oh my God. Hi, boy. So cute. Anyways, time for the matcha, all right? I'm getting too distracted. We have to just do matcha. Little baby wooden spoon, bitch. Into the strainer, sifter. I don't remember. What is this called? I don't know. Anyways, you get it. You know what it is. I'm just using this. I don't know if you're actually supposed to use this for this, but okay. Time to get some hot water in here so we can use our whisk. We got a Breville for Christmas. So, oh my God, so bougie. I know everyone has one of these. I didn't even ask for it. It was a present for our whole family, mostly my dad. So anyways, I'm gonna get some hot water, add it to the cup. How funky is that, huh? Okay, that's enough hot water. It looks so pretty. Now the whisk is soft and it won't break. And I'm gonna add the tiniest little bit of cinnamon because I think cinnamon matcha is so good. And then it says to do it in W or M shapes, but I kind of just sort of, I don't know. I let it do it what it wants. I need to redo my nails. We're coming up on like two weeks for these. I just did my toes the other day, a nice cute little maroon color because I just ran. My feet look so ugly, so I'm not showing you. Oh, do you hear that? Are you too hot? Okay, let's go. Dogs take top priority, guys, not matcha. Sometimes cinnamon matcha smells like a skunk and like that's not, <laughs> that's not good at all, but matcha tastes really good. So I'm not really sure why it sometimes smells like a skunk. You should comment down below if you ever think your matcha smells like a skunk because I think sometimes it does. Anyways, now I'm cleaning the matcha whisk. I put it back on the little stand so it dries in the shape it's supposed to. And you may be thinking it's a lot of fucking steps and you're right. And sometimes it's not worth it. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Sometimes I'm like, fuck, this takes so long. I, I just don't wanna do it anymore, you know? Also, cause I'm not even supposed to have caffeine. Like it's not good for my heart. So I'm not even sure why I drink it, but I honestly love it so much that I don't care sometimes, which is probably bad, but whatever. Anyway, now we're getting creamer. Trader Joe's came out with an, I don't know if it's new to be honest, uh, but I haven't had a Trader Joe's near me in months because there's not one at school in the UP, but they came out, don't know when, with this oat creamer. It's a brown sugar creamer. It's so good. It's ridiculous. So anyway, we're gonna blend this bitch up because it's so ridiculous, it's so good. Do I put it into go cup because we're probably gonna go to I, to to Costco? Uh, Cause it'll probably only take me three seconds to drink it. I want a matcha glass. I don't know. No, well, we, but yeah. Kansas, Kansas, yeah, of effort. I'm sure we could figure out one. Yeah. Time for the matcha moment. So good. I thrifted these sweatpants, white, freaking adorable sweatpants. They're American Eagle. Thrifted them for eight bucks. And these are like $50 sweatpants and they're brand freaking new, so. But anyways, I just made homemade hummus. Another time, let me know if you want to see my um, hummus recipe. It's so good and it's so easy. It takes me like five minutes. Yeah. My family started coming outside and I don't like doing yoga around them. So to the basement. Take your right hand to your belly, your left hand to your heart, to your breath. To the right hand and the left an inch for 10. And then exhale, lift those hips really high, pedal everything out. Six, three, five. Exhale, left palm back to the mat. Six. Hey guys, it's been such a long time. Oh, it is June 1st today, but I'm updating you back, back, back in time. This was like halfway through May. I'm a lot tanner now, obviously I've been working. But anyways, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm so thankful for you and I'm so happy that you wanted to watch this vlog and stuck around until the end. I really appreciate you guys so much, seriously. YouTube has kind of become more of a passion of mine again now that I'm back home. I don't know what 
all of this is that I'm doing right now, but I am beginning to fall back in love with recording and editing and I'm just so excited for all of the content this summer. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye. Love you. So you have to speak to me. Summer.